show me dash so there is a index which we are covering up the definition advantages shift reduce parsing lr parser types of lr parser difference of lr versus ll parser and conclusion so what is bottom up parsing bottom up parsing starts from the leaf nodes of a tree and works in upward direction till the reaches the node road it defines that it reaches the <coughs> root node here we start from a sentence and then apply production sentence uh, rules in uh, reverse manner so in this diagram we showing up that bottom up parsing is a part of shift or reduce parsing which is a two step like shift step and reduce step in shift step the shift steps refer to the advancement of the input pointer to the next input symbol which is called the shifted symbol and the reduce step when the parser finds a complete grammar rule rh is in the stand of right, uh, right hand side and uh, replaces it to lh is its mean left hand side and then it goes to the lr parsing lr parsing is basically three types Uh, first one is SLR parsing, second one is LR parser, and third one is LR LA LR parser. So now the next part will be discussed by my friend. Bottom up parsing advantage. First of all, first of all, that um uh, it is a more powerful parsing technique. Second one is that LR grammars are more expensive than LL. Third one that it can handle left recursive grammars. fourth one is that it can also handle virtually all the programming language next one that's the natural expressions of programming language sign uh, syntax and the automatic generations of parsers like yak vision etc that it detects uh, errors as soon as possible it allows better error recovery next one uh, it is a shift reduce parsing what is a shift reduce parsing shift reduce parsing uses two unique steps for bottom up parsing that these steps are known as shift step and reduce step first of all shift step that the shift step refers to the uh, advancement of the input pointer to the next input symbol which is also called the shifted symbol this also uh, this symbol is also pushed into the stack the shifted symbol is treated as a single node of the parse tree second one that the reduce step when the parser finds a complete grammar rule rhs and the replace it to the lhs it is also known as a reduce step this also occurs when the top of the stack contains a handle to reduce a push functions is performed on the stack which pops uh, with pops of the handle and replace it with the lhs non terminal symbol here is the example that the sentential forms that uh, what happen to be a rightmost derivations in the reverse order next part we we'll discuss uh, my friend shivam and my friend already discussed about the shift reduce par parsing and uh, now this slide describes the lr parser the lr parser is a, a non recursive shift reduce and bottom up parser it uses the wide class of the context free grammar which makes it the more in, most in efficient syntax analysis analysis technique it is the most efficient syntax analysis technique lr parser also known as lrk parser here the l stands for the left to right scanning of the input stream and r stands for the construction of the rightmost derivation Shiva, in the shivan meet google sh uh, sharing your screen make it height make it height and start from new because there's some problem at my end so shivan you start afresh Don't have to say good evening. You start, okay. and you make the last one your screen height, and everybody else their uh, the desktop and everything should be no WhatsApp on on your mobile, on your laptop or phone. So no uh, no uh, noise is coming. It, it, I, in fact, it's from mine, so I stopped it. 
Okay. Okay. So Shiva, you start. Thanks. This slides. Uh, this slide describes the LR parser. The LR parser is non-recursive, shift reduced bottom up parser. It uh, uses a wide class of the context-free grammar, which makes it a more efficient syntax analysis technique. The LR parser are also known as LRK parser, where the LR stands for the left to right scanning of the input st stream and R stands for the construction of the rightmost derivation in the reverse. And K denotes the number of look ahead symbol for making decisions. To the next slide. In this, there, there are the mainly four type of uh, technique in LR. The one is uh, LR0, the next is SLR1, LR1 and LALR. But uh, there are the three widely used algorithm available for the construction of LR more efficiently, which is L SLR, LR and LALR. It, uh, sorry. In SLR1, its uh, meaning is a simple LR pressure, which have the property which is uh, works on the smallest class of grammar and have a few number of state so it is very small table and as a small table and uh, less number of state it's sim it's it is uh, simple and fast to construction whereas the in lr parser it uh, works on the complete set of the lr one grammar, which is uh, large, which may which follows the larger larger forms of grammars, and it generates the large table and the large number of est states. As the lar large number of states, so it consumes much more time and slow to construction. For LALR, the meaning is LALR full form the look ahead LR parser, which uh, works similar to the SLR, uh, SLR one and the number of state are similar mostly to the SLR and it works on the intermediate size of grammar. So let's uh, move to the next slide. The, here is the example of the SLR parse table. Let's talk about the some what's the SLR and how it works. SLR mainly works on the LR0 canonical collection of the items or uh, items to the construct the parsing table. Here the, the form is how many type of canonical collection there is a two type of canonical collection lr0 canonical collection of items and lr1 canonical collection of item lr0 and slr follows and use the uh, lr0 canonical collection of the items to construct the parsing table and the clr and a CLR which is LR1. CLR and LALR both are uses LR1 canonical collection of the items to construct the parsing table. The in all parsing technique, there is a only the difference between in the parsing table, but um, the parsing technique and reducing technique are the same most mostly pro most probable to same here is the example of here is the example of the slr um, grammar a, a, a slr parsing table and this is the grammar as does uh, determines as uh, uh, mainly this uh, s tends to l equals r 
L S tends to R, L tends to strict R, L tends to ID, and R tends to L. And uh, this is the uh, grammar. And uh, for constructing um, the parsing, uh, pa uh, parsing, there are some steps we should follow to have a parsing. First one is uh, for uh, given input, we have to write a context-free grammar. Or uh, let's check the context-free grammar or and. Uh, uh, we should check the amb um, ambiguity of the grammar and then uh, we add the augmented augmented production of the in the given grammar and uh, we should create the canonical collection of the lr0 lr0 items for the slr1 and uh, then we we go for the draw the uh, data flow diagram and then construct the lr0 um, slr parsing table as we see here the hmm, the s dash tends to s this is the augmented production to this uh, grammar and uh, canonical collection of, um, of the grammar included the augmented production is uh, s dash determines dot s s dash determines dot l equals r s determines dot r l determines dot strict r l, l determines dot id r determines dot l the this we include dot to form the can, canonical collection of item, items of lr0 this dot you uh, useful to uh, see the reduce in re reduce move uh, to get the uh, reduce reduce moves and the in 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 the uh, given grammar there is a six uh, production involves in initial state which is represented by i0 for uh, for the for the s non uh, non terminal uh, variable input there is a state state one first state where the s dash tends to s dot the dot moves to the right hand side of the production and after that dot there is a no production of any terminal or non terminal so s dash determines s dot this is the accepted and it and it uh, not uh, further um, reduced reduce and it is a final state and uh, this is accepted and uh, come to the second um, uh, second um, non non determinate non terminal input l for that uh, s tends to l dot equals r where the dot moves to the uh, l and after that, uh, there is uh, equals uh, in right uh, right hand right hand side. So it is uh, not a final step, and it will further reduce. Uh, for L, that there is uh, another production R e, R equal R tends to L dot. So, so but uh, th uh, this. Um, R, ten, R tends to L dot, which, which is reduced, but uh, um, this state is not completely reduced. For R input, S tends to R dot. After that, uh, after that, uh, there is no production, so it's a uh, it's a complete, uh, and uh, it's a after that it it's uh, no will not further reduce move, so it's reduced completely. And for uh, for uh, strict, 
l tends to a streak dot r Do after the dot r, r is the and r is the non terminal so we have to write the production of a uh, production for r as we see here the uh, production of r is here the r r tends to dot l and after the dot l l then we have to write again the production of l l tends to dot r dot strict r and l tends to dot id so this is the i this is the uh, fourth state and this is not not, com not completed and uh, we move move down and see the i id input there is a l tends to I, id dot and uh, after dot there is a no, no production is left so it's uh, complete and it's, it's a stop here and it's the fifth state come to the next uh, at uh, i2 for equals we, ha we have to write again the new state it will go the sixth state and uh, where the s tends to l equals dot r here the after the dot r is non terminal so we have to write again the production of for r so r tends to dot l and for L, we have to again write L tends to a strict R and L tends to dot ID. And after that, we have we move the fourth state. And as we see the fourth state, for R, we come in the for R input, we come the state uh, seven state uh, L tends to a strict R dot. And after that, there is uh, no production, so it's stop here. And uh, we come again uh, in fourth state. We see here the we have to write uh, the production for R production for L. Uh, we have to write uh, the ne next step input for L. Then then we move the for L input in the step state A eighth uh, state r tends to l dot and after that no production so it's stop here and come again to the state state four and we see the fourth production uh, the third production l tends to dot strict r and the for a strict uh, for a strict input we have to write again so it comes to the again to the fourth state so it's from the loop here it's shown as a loop and in the fourth um, production of uh, state 4 l tends to dot id and uh, we have the st state 5 of that production so it um, comes to the this state 5 production uh, state 5 now we come again to the uh, state 6 here we have to write again the ne next move for the r input s tends to l equals r dot after that there is a no production so it's a complete and it's a stop here and we move to the next production and uh, next production r uh, tends to dot l for that we have a state 8 it um, for input l we it moves uh, production second moves to the step eight it shows here and for the production th third it um, for the stick input it will move to the state four and for the last one of uh, state six product production l tends dot id it uh, is already stopped at uh, state five so it tends to it's come to the state 5 for the id so we see here the reduce com reduce completed states are the i9 i8 i7 i5 i3 and i2 partially so uh, for for non terminals 
for non terminals for termin for non terminals we use the go to and uh, action for action for action and in action there is a shift for terminals uh, such as uh, equals streak id and uh, default is dollar here is a slr press uh, press parse table for grammar 0 1 2 3 2 9 is uh, states and uh, equals streak id and dollar are the x um, action and terminals slr are the go to in state 0 for equals there there is a no there is for equal input there is nothing and in state uh, state 0 from state 0 to state 1 we go for the s here's the s and we go to the state 1 uh, state 1 so we write here the 1 in no, in number for l we move to the state state 2 so we write here the 2 and for r similarly we write here 2 3 for streak we move to the state 4 so we write here to s4 means shift 4 and for the id similar to id goes to the i5 state 5 so we write here in id to s5 now come in the state 1 in state 1 there is it stop here and it's it's a final sheet and it's accepted so we write in dollar accepted up uh, after the dot there is a default is dollar and up uh, so we write in dollar part of state one is accepted acc come in the state two here the state two we we shift i2 to i6 there is a shift so uh, we write here s6 in equals because the input is equal in equal table uh, in equal column we write s6 state c uh, shift 6 for state 6 for the reduce uh, for the reduce it, I will come here later and uh, in sta state 3 there is a uh, no shift and no action and in st in state 4 in state 4 it uh, moves here is a loop for a streak so it's comes again for the state 4 so we write in streak column s4 at the first fourth step and for it uh, for id it moves to the state 5 so we write in id column as a shift 5 from from state uh, 4 to it moves non-terminal value or go to uh, go to l or go to r there is a go to l go to r so we write to the 8 to the l because it moves to the state 8 and r moves to the state 7 so we write there in r column 7 come in the state 5 again state 5 stops here so there is not a shift or any go to function there sorry yeah yes please in seventh step in the sixth step in the sixth step for non-terminal r it uh, moves to the step nine for in the r column we write nine and for l non-terminal uh, it go to l to the 8 and it um, for a strict input it moves to the st st state 4 so we write 
in strict S4 and uh, for ID S5 in ID column and uh, the step 7, step 8 and step 9 these are stop, stopped and there is no shift or no move now come to the writing of the reduce in SLR we write in SLR we place the reduce move only in the left most of left hand side of the production which means what is the follow of what is the follow of what is the follow of left hand side of the production only for that terminal only for that terminal we we need to write the reduce move so here is the follow of slr for s there is a dollar and l equals and dollar for r equals and dollar come to the state uh, i2 there is the reduce completed for it is it is completed for the input l non-terminal input l for l what is the follow of l equals and dollar at the equals l equals and dollar we write the pro production number of production number of that terminal that moves the production number for l uh, l equals r r tends to l dot is 6 so we write r6 and r6 for l at the second step in second step for equals for equals we write r6 and for dollar we write r6 step 3 is also reduced so it's for r it's for it's it's for r it's for it's from s s s tends to r so s tends to r so the uh, follow of s is dollar so we write here in dollar part of step 3 is r3 and uh, in step in step 5 the non terminal the value is l and uh, l equals id is the fifth production so r5 we write in the fifth step r5 for l equals to r5 and for dollar r5 because the equals and dollar for l is and uh, in the se seventh step seventh step is completed seventh step for l l tends to stick r for follow of l equals to equals and dollar in seventh step equals for r4 and r4 dollar in r4 r4 because this for this l equals stick r is the fourth production come into a state eight in eighth state r tends to l the, we have to write the production of uh, we have to write a um, follow of r which equals n dollar and follow of r equal, equals r tends to l is the sixth production so r6 in eighth eighth street r6 for equals and r6 in dollar column and come to the ninth street last street here s tends to l equals to r dot it is the second production in the grammar in the in initial state so we write r2 
and in the follow of s in the follow of s there is a dollar so r2 in the nine step for in the dollar column here we can see the multiple entry is there in the action of two and equals so we discuss about this special case here there is a both a shift and reduce entry in the in action of two comma equals therefore the state 2 has shift reduced conflict at uh, equals so it's represented at the grammar is not mb ambiguous as we see the first um, first id equals to id assuming to the reduce assuming to the reduce action is taken and to two comma equals the stack we take the zero in initial input is id equals to id so a zero and id zero and uh, id shift five shift five so id comes here and uh, five five is uh, stay with it and again check the five and equals five and equals reduce five reduce r5 reduced by r5 is l l tends to id so id ch changes with l so id here is changes with l and uh, two will come here two will come here because the state of state two and uh, two and equals will compare again two and uh, equals will compare again to seconds or equal we again check the reduce r6 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 is r uh, r determines l r determines l l change with r and here the three comes and three and id three and equals there is a no action no neither shift nor reduce so if we take assume that the shift action is taken in two and equals position consider as a shift action so we see here the stack uh, in a stack there is a zero input id equals id doll, dollar which is which is default uh, right hand of input and uh, zero and id it will take the shift action of shift action of five so shift action of five id id five and five and uh, one is compared five and equals is r5 reduce five reduce uh, reduce by l equals id Redu uh, id changes with uh, l and l l again l l comes with a uh, two zero zero l comes with two so two and uh, equals again compare two and equals again compare yeah now where here we consider shift s6 shift 6 so we consider here the shift 6 so equals comes here and again uh, with equal we put the 6 here and 6 and id we check here 6 and id shift 5 
shift 5 shift 5 id comes here uh, 5 again with the id and here's the dollar 5 and dollar is compared 5 and dollar there is a reduce 5 the reduce 5 in the reduce 5 reduce 5 l tends to id this is reduce 5 l tends to id and uh, place of the id we change the l and we change the l no, now you are repeating, repeating the steps you have already described in the that diagram again you are doing nobody has so much time no please yes, uh, sir, yes sir. so so, no, so you know, you are repeating no, please please listen you just so, quickly step it up and give it to ashubham please yes sir so the reduce and, action uh, reduce. yeah i will tell you lot of lot of lot of uh, uh, till now the you are the best one right now of among the three shukonna shomi has not shown the problem uh, plus you taking too much time you just close it right now it's understood yes sir, yes sir. lot of yeah. lot of problems is there that i'll i'll tell at the end okay carry on yes sir. Redu reduce yes sir, yes Reduce by the L, L and R, and uh, we changes the L to the R, and uh, we compare again compare nine and dollar. So again nine and compare is the uh, reduce by the S tends to L equals to R. L they have the position L to any equals to R. R C the whole position will change, and uh, here the S will come with the uh, this S is come zero S and one. What um, for s if it will come to the s so the dollar and one is accepted now this is the l ll versus ll lr table uh, differences will explain why so uh, subham so from this slide uh, there is a question so consider the grammar shown below so uh, question uh, grammar is s is producing i small i capital e t s s dash or alpha and s dash is pro producing e s or uh, epsilon and e is producing b so there is a present table m of this uh, grammar and uh, the non terminal points are s s dash and e and uh, so for a s dash is producing e and s e s and uh, s dash is also producing epsilon and uh, b is uh, for b s dash is producing uh, e s and pi and uh, c s dash is pro for c s dash is producing epsilon and uh, s dash is Again, producing a cell, and for D, S dash is pro producing small e s, or uh, S dash is producing a cell. And this is the base table uh, for this grammar. Next slide, Simon. So here is another uh, question, and we have to uh, find out that uh, the grammar belong to which. Uh, 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 which grammar? I mean, uh, LL1 or SRL1. So, uh, seeing this grammar, uh, it is uh, uh, because it is unambiguous or and uh, non left recursive and non left factor, and that is LL1 grammar. But it is also LR grammar. So, finally, it is LL grammar, LL1 grammar. Next slide. So uh, there are some other questions, uh, which are which one of the following is top down pressure? Uh, reactive pressure and recursive descent pressure are example of top down pressures. And uh, the second question is which of the flowing string is generated by the grammar? So the answer is small a, small a small b small b a and small b and there are some other uh, questions uh, next slide Swan. okay very good very good presentation by you all very good